thank you for joining us, Mr. Rakesh. Now, Crown Paints is the only paint manufacturer firm listed on the Nairobi Securities Exchange. Now, this is on the back of increased investment in the real estate sector and also on the rising demand for automotive paints. Other than these two, what would you attribute your growth to? Yeah, real estate is one of the, because we are a major decorative company. So our 90% business comes from the decorative. See, the real estate, refurbishments, new constructions, and the, what we've been trying to bring, a lot of new innovative products. So through colors, we are changing the lifestyle. So, I mean, what we've been trying to use, that people can use variety type of paints from uh, normal quality to high-end product. We've been trying to identify all niche areas. Basically, yes, construction growth, real estate, new products, aggressive marketing, better marketing strategy, uh, better relationship with clients, and uh, uh, training to our users. I mean, we have been spending a lot of money uh, on, particular, on training the painters. I think we have trained more than 6,000 painters this year. You've spoken about innovation and you've been quite in the lead in terms of embracing innovative technology. In terms of cost reflection, how is this to the final products that you send out to your consumers? We just try to find it out what are the market is uh, potential of this particular product and what price customer can pay. So accordingly, generally we give a task to our uh, research and development department to make sure that when we're making these products, you also, the uh, sourcing of material is so important that it, it should not go beyond the cost. But what we've been trying to do in this country that we want a product to, to appeal to the masses. Like we don't want to say, okay, this product only for one class or two class people. Kenya is a hub where any countries can dump the material. So we have to be very careful of anything we're bringing in the market that we are able to sustain the growth and able to uh, win our customers. In your last annual general meeting, shareholders approved a decision or rather resolution to increase your authorized stock from 25 million to 40 million shares. This will see the company increase share capital to about 200 million shillings. With additional capital, where is this expected to go towards? Since we are going for our major expansions in Africa, particularly in Tanzania and Uganda and Ethiopia. So we do not want to rush at last moment. So the all us basically arrangement uh, we went done in case we need finance, uh, we, let, we have enough approval from the uh, capital uh, management authority. So we uh, do not rush at last moment. Uh, however, we've been trying to all our expansions we should able to finance with our internal finance sources. And I think we have a capacity to do that. With your footprint spanning across the East African region, when it comes to logistics and distribution of your products, it is a significant expense, even in comparison, hopefully, to even making of paints. Other than your satellite stations or other plans and also your strategic partnerships, how have you managed to address this? I think uh, what we've been trying to do is, is uh, we've been planning a better supply chain management at the moment. We, we make sure that we do our planning in well in advance what the stocks is required. So satellite factories, what we've been trying to do is, is only trying to make the economic product, which is like low-end type of product, which probably carry a lot of waters and some of the uh, material which when we transport from here, then it's become uh, uh, expensive. And the economic viability is still a question mark. So what we've been trying to do, those products which are 60 to 70 percent uh, being sell in the market, we've been trying to produce at respective locations. So we can able to fight it out with local uh, market and the local companies because they are there for many years. As a manufacturer, what are some of the key concerns when it comes to the business environment that you're operating in and how can they be addressed? The infrastructure has been uh, quite, quite uh, developed and is taking place, but it's quite slow. So you, you look at to that, I mean, today when we would like to serve the customers much faster, it's a big challenge when we have sitting in industrial area like, Sending the goods from here to town, it takes three hours sometimes, two, or two and a half, three or four, four, four hours. The port has been quite slow. The goods coming from China, or Egypt, or India, or UK, it takes 21 days to sell, to reach Mombasa. And now, a Mombasa port takes 15 to 18 days to clear uh, goods and comes to us. The goods should not take more than three to four days. And finally, what should shareholders and investors expect from Crown Paints in three to five years' time? I think shareholders always believing uh, the great return, the highest return for, as a stakeholders always wish to have a, uh, the greater returns of their investments. They always believe that any uh, shares they are holding, they should be proud of the companies 
the company should bring innovations, be aggressive in the markets, able to uh, uh, satisfy the customer's need, able to uh, to make a more uh, return or more cash. I mean, the cash generation is very important for any shareholders, and this is a major yardsticks for any organization that how the cash flow is. So I think those areas, and then uh, we are looking for a, a reasonable growth of double digit growth. So I think uh, we likely to close one five billion plus turnover this year. So next three to five years, I think we are try to, trying to look for seven and a half billion uh, Kenya shillings turnover, which is equivalent to ninety billion, ninety million dollars.